What make me an offer to buy me? Thousand bucks. No. no. All right. So give me a price back. Mm. We gotta start somewhere. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. How much are the head covers? Yeah, a bunch of them. How much are they? Uh, oh, a dollar each? Yeah. Where's the putter? No, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably been sold. <laughs> oh, yeah? So you don't have the putter to this one? No, but that's any putter. Yeah, this is a Scotty Cameron. Huh? It's a Scotty Cameron putter cover. Oh, yeah. You don't have a, are these already sold? The, no, those are. The, this, okay. The whole set with the bag is 75. Can I see? Let's see what kind of putter you got. Oh, right here it is. I just got a bunch of teeth. Oh, that's a, that's a wedge. No butter. Take this though. Wonder if it's in here. That, that's so. Can I just see if it's in there? Can I just see what kind of putter it was? Well, I can't sell anything out. Oh yeah, I was just seeing if the putter was in here. No, it's not in here either. Maybe they. Maybe it, they. It probably got rid of it. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll grab that for you. Sometimes you find these laying by the greens and stuff. Maybe it was found. These are for putters too, aren't they? Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, I owe you a dollar. That cooler is electric or... Uh, Thank you. That's another. That's a... Uh, Wish you would have had the butter. Thank you. Thank you. So what What do you want to do with them? You want to... Yeah, just pawn them? I mean, or you want to sell them? No, I want to pawn them. I'm going to... You want to tease me with all these? Yeah. <laughs> this is authenticity from... There's a bunch out there that doesn't show in here. What are you looking to get? Just a couple hundred bucks, man. I just want to go back home to hunt. None of them been touched. None of these have been touched. Where are you go? Where are you going? Bradford, Pennsylvania. That's where you're from. <laughs> yeah. Where are you We're going? born and raised from there, so that's deer. Deer? Yeah. I just came back from South Carolina. Is that right? Where at? Sycamore. Is that right? I I, I spent 20 years on hunting that. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hunt in South, What'd in South you get? Carolina? Hog? Uh, deer? No, sure. Oops, sorry. Yeah, show, sorry. show him that big fat thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice, man. Wow. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Straight out. <laughs> ball, <laughs> ball rifle. A uh, rifle. Yeah. He's going up to do some archery. Yeah, I got, I got archery. Huh, man. I just need some money to get to play. I mean, you got these. Uh, have you priced these lately or not? No, I just bought them over the years. How 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 recently? Like how old are a lot of them? I mean, well, I, I got an idea. This one I did price. That I went to have it cleaned, and that little they told me not to do anything with it. So I said some of these things can be expensive. Well, I was saying you one, have. How about this one? Check this one. Out. Well, that's why I was asking you how much you're looking for because you got to check this one. I mean, how much money we have here? Twenty thousand. <laughs> well, that. But, have you seen that nice? Nice. Have you seen anything like these? No, those, those are 150 years old. Dang. Yeah. What the case? Case, case made those? <laughs> yeah. No, no. These are just okay, yeah, okay. the name, the makers. Good. All right. You'll see later. Well, yeah, I got. Oh, here's the one. But this one goes down. No, no. Where's the other one? I think these ones are the neatest. This was the present. What happened? Oh, there it is. Listen, Linda. <laughs> this was the president of Zippo. 
Yeah. Well, so you bring him over here and we'll look somewhere And more. this was the president of Zippo. He retired. That's one good one. They've never been touched. Been so I was asking how much you're looking for because, I mean, you got a good pile of money. <laughs> I don't know. I just need a couple hundred bucks to get home and done. Say $500. 500 Yeah, and I'll buy them back. Yeah. You know what I mean? This is Cutco right here. This is number one. That's Irish. Yeah, Cutco's up there. I got a Cutco in here. Check this out. Any it's bench made stuff? Oh, yeah. What's bench made stuff? Yeah, there's some shit in here. You just have to look at this. Yeah. What's a bench made mean? Bench made is like case, like they make, they're a company that makes knobs. Yeah. Oh. They're just a company I like that. Uh, oh, bench is a, oh, it's out. a name, yeah. I see. I just yeah. have some of their check knobs. Check this one out. This is not one of my favorites. This is, they only made 500 of these. This is cut. Do you yeah. have bench in here, Jimmy? Yeah, they're in there. Oh, yeah? There's a they say bench? K-Bar authenticity strip for that mm -hmm. knife. K-Bar, K-Bar is expensive. Mm -hmm. I got a bunch. I got a bunch more at home, and I got a bunch of zippos too. Do you collect these, or do you sell them too? Zippos. Knives. Yeah. I have quite a few at the house that I keep for me. I mean, I'm a hunter type of guy too, so yeah, I like them. Yeah. Man, there's a lot in here. I mean, yeah, I know. You wouldn't sell the whole bag? For how much? I mean, no, you don't want to do all that. You want them. I, I, I've been collecting them for a long time, and a lot of this is all case. And none of them have been touched. These zip up, these ain't, these are the ones that Jay or Lisa bought me. You know, and I still got, I got little stags. Throw what's your, I don't want to sell the price. Oh boy, I'm going to look at these guns over here. <laughs> <laughs> He's my brother. He came down here stopped for just a little vacation and he's living here now. <laughs> yeah. Still have a place up this is north. My sister. And, still yeah, have a place up north. And, and I'm Jimmy. I'm just, just a pleasure, my friend. We were born and raised or whatever, so to go up and camp and, and uh, hunt or whatever is our I got I got uh, I don't Do you want to keep some and sell some? Or do you want to keep them all? I don't. I don't you I have don't. to think about it. What is this? Oh, it's a book. So what's your I don't want to sell it price? <laughs> For the whole bag. The whole bag? Everything. Oh, look at him. He's just like, so I'm just hoping you don't come back. I, did you look at all of them? I the mean, one's 24 karat gold. It's yeah. inlaid. But you don't, you, wanna, you, don't wanna, you don't want to mm -hmm. stop. Listen. That's it. 24 karat inlay. Yeah. You don't want to get rid of all of these right now for money, do you? You only want to get rid of oh, some for some money. That depends on what you have. That's, got tw that's 24 karat inlay. You got 50 cent pieces. They're worth something? Oh uh, yeah, those yeah. are forty percenters. So I mean, they're worth like three dollars and something a piece, depending on what silver is. Three dollars. Oh, silver. I paid four hundred bucks for that. Actually, I didn't. But brought us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, sit here. I don't know. What's your price? Yeah. Why are you gonna? You're not gonna. I mean, I know you got quality stuff. You're not gonna. Right. I mean, it's never been touched. So, yeah. This shit has. Of course. Yeah. It's all. You think somebody literally just said, "Look, I need these to have my truck." These are all cases. Ooh, look, look, look. <laughs> Did somebody say, "Look, I need to empty my truck and get you all this"? Ah, uh, that was come from a, a guy I knew that was having a yard sale. So I bought some stuff from. Oh well, yeah, you never had awesome. armor all the rest of your life. Shannon, Can you make me armor? I just want to see where you're at, man. I don't know what you what you want to. Uh, we didn't put much thought into it. Thirty years. That's what I'm saying. I'd have to make a little something on them. So I don't oh, know. absolutely. Of course. Damn, I really like that. And that neat. What's that one? <laughs> White tail deer. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. How you doing? Good. Yeah, they've never been touched. Trying yeah. to get some change. Yeah, I can't do change. Sorry. Oh, you can't do change. No, I just have people that come from the laundromat every day and I'd be wiped out if I just oh, yeah? gave all my change out. Uh, in the laundromat? Yeah, to the end. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I would. All right, thank you, sir. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what make me an offer to buy me? A thousand bucks. No. no. All, all right, so give me a price back. Mm -hmm. You gotta start somewhere. Twenty five.
Can we find you some shoes? I have to sell some to make a profit. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Now that he's a government drugs, you know, you see it. What about for this right here? About fifteen hundred for that cash money. That's pretty much all. I mean, that's got a lot of the older stuff in there. I'm not. Yeah, I'm not an older man. You're not for the older stuff kind of man. Two. Two on the Do me two, man. Give me in the middle, man. Seventeen fifty. Eighteen. Come out. Eighteen. I'm out. Trying to make sure I don't want to. You can have that whole fucking add fifty cents for the back. Oh my god! <laughs> so Eighteen for all of it. No, two for everything in here. Eighteen for all of it. Let's yep. do it. Uh, you're gonna cry when you get home. Yeah, well, I, I've been. I just had to look at your feet there for a minute. Make sure you had shoes on. <laughs> you have an ID with you? Yes, sir. You got one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, fifty, a thousand. We got fifty-one, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-two, twenty, forty, sixty, eighty-seven. Yeah. 20, 40, 60, <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's why I counted out loud brother, in front of you, brother. Yep. It's a pleasure, man. You too, man. I, I hope, you, hope you go up there and get you a big one. Trust me. I'll 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 come back and I'll show I'll show you pics. Right. I I got an eight point last year with my bow and uh, it's huge. Oh, yeah. It's twenty four inch ready. Dang. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Thank you, my friend. All I right, man. It. Take it easy. Take All it right, easy. Buddy. So that part of the video you just watched, you see me buy some knives. The guy originally just wanted to pawn them, but I'm kind of into knives and case knives and stuff like that, so I liked them. So I wanted to buy them because I wanted to pick a few out for me. But anyways, so the guy ended up only wanted a $500 pawn. I talked him into selling them, and he started at $2,500, and we ended at $1,800 is what I paid for all of them. In the video, you couldn't really see them too well. As the transaction was going on, I showed you like a clip of them going through them afterwards as the video was rolling. So there ended up being 57 knives that are resellable that... I think are you know higher dollar stuff and then there was also this stuff right here that I showed so really I based the money off the 57 because this right here is like the bonus that I don't really know much about and then some of them this older stuff too that case knives are there's so many different variations so there can be the same looking knife but one can be from 40 to 64 and one can be newer and the price can be completely different. So case knives, there's tons of different variations that make them valuable and I don't claim to know them all. So if there is any case knife guys in here and you see something in here that's valuable or you see one that sticks out, leave me a comment and tell me what you think. But the knives that I looked out that stuck out the most was this pearl one right here which I haven't found one that kind of recently sold. I think if I remember the last one I seen sold in 2021 and it was like 200 and something. So I'm thinking this is a close to $300 knife. The other one too was this K-Bar. So I can't even find one that recently sold. I think the only one I found, and I looked up these prices a while ago, a couple days ago, so I can't really remember exactly, but it was 2011 and I think it went for a hundred and something bucks. So I think this is probably a $250 knife right here. Um, the guy was telling me this knife was fairly expensive that the guy was telling him, which I'm not, I kind of, I did see some, the ones that were from 40 to 64. I have to do a little more research cause I don't know if this one is 40 to 64, but if it is, it's close to 200 also. And then there was a weird auction on this one right here too. I seen one that sold for, it was like $390 it sold for, but all the other ones a couple years ago were like a hundred and something. So I don't know why that one went crazy. I'll probably put it on an auction and let it bid and see where it goes. But like I said, I paid him 1800 and then for the knives I figured that was resellable was I got about 3150 in them a piece. So. That's a pretty good deal when you're talking case knives, you know, older case knives, especially new stuff. 
I know I'm going to make good money on them. I just don't know how much depending on what's here. So like this stuff right here, this is the harder stuff. I know I think these rounded edge these rounded edge knives are the, some of the older ones too, but like I said, there's just a lot of research that goes into them unless you just really know them. But in the end, I think it was a pretty good deal and I'll probably end up keeping a couple. I really like this one. And then I also like this one, which these weren't too valuable. This one was like a hundred and something, and this one was like 60, 70 bucks. And that's a lot of them. A lot of them were in the 60 to $150 range. This one right here was like 130. I remember seeing this Kodiak was, I think this one was close to 200, 175 ish. Also like this one, this one's got the spring assist on it. It's pretty nice. This was a Cutco knife right here. I want to say this one was like a hundred and something bucks. If you ever see Cutco at yard sales, kitchen knives, they make some expensive knives. They're good to look at. These were two older ones. I'm not sure how old. Like I said, these just take a lot of research to figure out exactly how old they are and what they're worth. Um, this was a cool knife. You can change out the blades on it. These two knives right here, what I literally thought were junk, they're like 30, 40, 50 bucks on eBay, so not too bad. But stuff like this just kind of intrigues me, and it's one reason I love the pawn shop because you just never know what walks through the door. When the guy came in, when the guy came in, he was carrying, they were in a craftsman tool bag, and I'm like, damn, I don't want to mess with those craftsman tools. So when he opened it up, I seen they were all box case, case knives, got my attention. But I appreciate y'all tuning in, and if you're not subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if there's any case guys out there that know about case knives, uh, leave me leave me a comment. You know, tell me what you think. Tell me if there's anything in there you see that stuck out to you watching the video. You stole an rifle? <laughs> what would you? Uh, the Colts print? Uh, I, you know, I like the Colts, but it was here when we bought the house. Oh, uh, was it? Yeah, uh, I didn't see anything else Colts, so I figured maybe yeah, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, we're not up to yet. You didn't really care. I, I got two or three more thermometers over there. It works. So what do you what do you say? A couple of dollars. Two, three dollars, three yeah, dollars, three fine. bucks. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and all the lawn stuff you're keeping, all the trimmers yeah. and hedgers and all that stuff. Yeah. He's, oh, okay. He's not okay. Uh huh. 15 years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> See how long it's been there? It has for a while. Oh, I mean, look where it was. Yeah. Oh. You can see like a circle there. 
I didn't realize that. That's was how old here. it was. Huh? I don't. I didn't realize it was here when we moved here. It was here when we moved in a long, long time ago. So as usual, the last thing we have to get to to Friday is the giveaway. If you're new to the channel, I usually give something away every Friday. This Friday, we're giving away a 120th. I had 10 of these that were given away when we hit 10,000 subscribers. I think we got a few left after this one. To be entered, all you have to do is be subscribed, like the videos, and comment on the videos. And then I take a random comment every Friday that this generator picks. I always get a lot of questions on how do you pick a winner. It's just a random comment picker. So we got the link to the video right there. Filter duplicate users, and it picks one of these comments randomly. So there was... 594 comments. We're going one winner. Good luck. The winner is Turkish Grandpa. So Turkish Grandpa, if you have Instagram, message me right here on Instagram. That's the easiest way for you to get in contact with me. And then I um, ask for the information I need to verify the winner. So once again, I want to appreciate everybody for tuning in. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. After these coins, I'll throw out another thing where I'll give something away once we hit so many subscribers. So I appreciate y'all and see y'all next week.